there and welcome to my channel if this is your first time here i go by zangie does on the channel and we do some advice videos and we also do hair videos on this channel i just wanted to have a one-on-one -on -one talk with um those girls or guys out there who were bullied for their hair especially curly hair growing up i myself was somebody who was bullied for my hair and i just wanted to kind of sit down and give you advice on that and a different perspective to help you for the future because you know it does get better and you are more than your hair and i think someone deserves to tell you that and deserves to show you like if i can get through it you can too so ever since i did my big chop i realized that I, there's a lot to learn about my hair and my hair is made up of so many things more than i could have imagined and you know it made me think about when i was younger and how i felt like i, I just wanted straight hair i just didn't want to deal with it i didn't want to deal with the burden of looking different and standing out and you know i just want to sit here and tell you today like it's okay to stand out it's okay to be yourself it's okay to be unique like after cutting my hair and realizing my natural hair pattern my natural hair color which is like a red brown which i never knew because i did dye it kind of early on in life um you know i realized that it is okay to stick out and if you realize now people around us right now in this time and age and fashion wise people are vibing with the afros and people are vouching for afros but i do know that back then it wasn't that easy to be deemed as you know cool if you will remember that your hair is awesome if you are in that position right now where you are young or even my age and you feel like you're being bullied by your hair just here are my tips for you and i hope that it really helps because realizing these things really helps me embrace my hair and my beauty and makes me feel confident about my hair every day and i've gotten to the point where i don't feel the need to sit down and straighten my hair every day like i used to if you look around now you know people do wish that they have had your hair type like there's people trying to achieve curly hair afros on tiktok and things like that and trying to make trends out of it so remember that the next time you feel bad about you know your hair and wanting to look like a different person when everyone honestly wants to look like you standing out is okay and i realize that the more you accept that you're standing out you can make it easier for other people ashamed of being of standing out which means you know you you might be helping someone without even realizing it and you guys could be going through the same dilemma at the same time and another thing is people always deem certain curly hair patterns as more respected or cute or cooler or better or healthier and i'm here to tell you like that's all bs any hair pattern that you have tight curls or loose curls waves any curls that you have afro like this long curls like that it's all valid it's all worth it like it's all worth being showcased it's all worth being confident about there's nothing you should want to change about that another thing is you know just stop trying to look like someone else you know what i mean it's like there's a quote that i live by and it's while well, you might want what someone else has they might want what you have and that's something really to think about next time you want to look like someone else or want to be like someone else in any other in any way and my last tip is just don't straighten your hair anymore really you know I straighten my hair maybe once every two months, you know, and I really space it out and I just do it for looks. I don't do it because I want to look like someone else. I don't want to do it because I want to make someone else happy. I do what I want with my hair because it's mine and I invite you and encourage you to just cut the straightener off for some months. See how your fro or your curl is, your curl pattern. Do the big chop if you feel compelled. I'll link my video in the bottom. but. Here I am to just tell you it's okay to be yourself and it's fine like I hope that this video helps you understand like it's okay to be different it's okay to say now it's okay to walk in a room and have your afro be big and, or have your curls be so long and tight like there are times I won't lie when I walk into a room and I feel like my hair is so big and don't let that discourage you that feeling happens it's just gonna happen but 
be confident in that and stand in your 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 body and your hair and say yes this is me and you know embrace it and hopefully people come up to you and ask you for advice and want to know more about how did you achieve, achieve your curl pattern how do you get your curl so tight how do you get your curl so loose how do they look so hydrated and things like that thank you so much for watching today's video i really really hope that i could move you even in the slightest bit and i hope that i encourage you to not be shy about your hair and just embrace it and be yourself throughout the whole way so thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and if you want to see more hair videos please check out my whole channel and scroll through the videos and i'll see you in the next one